saw so often this summer, protesters clashing with police. Now, months later, officers arrest several people for their alleged role in three separate destructive demonstrations. Tori Mason joins us live tonight with more on this. And Tori, they do face a number of charges. Yes, and a few of the people arrested yesterday include leaders of the large protests that have been happening over the last few months, demanding justice for Elijah McClain. Many of them are still here in the Denver jail, but the Colorado Freedom Fund has offered to help with their bonds. This, these, uh, these protesters, they're facing uh, multiple felonies and years in prison. This is payback. This is payback from the authorities in the Aurora and Denver area because they are irate that their crimes have been revealed to the world. On July 3rd, hundreds of protesters surrounded Aurora Police Department District 1, demanding justice for Elijah McClain. The 17th and 18th Judicial Districts filed charges against six protesters Thursday for their roles in separate demonstrations over the summer. This is a major political attack on the whole movement and the PSL. Four of the people charged are members of the Party for Socialism and Liberation. More resistance, more protest. PSL leaders took to social media to demand the charges be dropped. They are facing serious felony charges and many misdemeanors, including the bizarre and ludicrous charge of kidnapping. According to the 17th Judicial District, three protesters barricaded entrances to the police station, trapping 18 officers inside. In addition to attempted kidnapping, other charges include inciting a riot and attempt to influence a public servant. They want us all to be scared. That's what these heavy charges are about for protesters all around the country. In a statement, District Attorney Dave Young says, we support the First Amendment right of people to protest peacefully in our community. But there is a difference between a peaceful protest and a riot. When individuals cross the line and break the law, they will be prosecuted. Now, tomorrow, PSL is hosting a rally at the Capitol to support those who were arrested and demand those charges be dropped. They're also asking for donations to help with those members' legal fees. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason, covering Colorado First.